Okay, so, hi, it's Quinn with PTSD Wall Black. I'm accepting the nature of things as they are. Um, I caught myself crying today because I tend to be somebody that wants to speak up and say that I believe black women. That um, I prioritize the needs of people who are differently abled. And I realize what I have been doing by engaging with these gang stalking individuals is I have not been prioritizing black women or the differently abled. I have been tolerating, um, reacting and responding to their behavior. Um, but here's what I know is true. I know for a fact that I am being harassed. I know for a fact that I'm dealing with someone who is relentless in his pursuits. I know for a fact that I'm dealing with a gang of people who believe in ideology. I know for a fact that I have a responsibility to myself. So at the end of the day, it's my responsibility to validate what I am feeling in this very ugly world. I don't have to think of everyone that I meet as being a threat, but I do have to recognize that these people from this particular group who are gang stalking me, they're following me on TikTok and on YouTube and all kinds of stuff, that they're part of a very ugly world that I choose to not dwell in. I choose to not even participate in, but they wanna participate in it and that's fine for them, but it's not okay for them to participate in this with me it's not okay for me to choose to respond to it. It is my responsibility to keep myself safe and that is my responsibility to have the appropriate authorities involved. It is my responsibility to make sure that I have safe spaces, safe places to connect um, and be with safe people. So I'm just, I'm just like really accepting this and um, one of the videos that was fed to me, this was a good one, um, was a TikTok video talking about how God allowed Job to go through the trials. And um, because Job was claiming, if you're, it's basically if you're claiming that you want to be at that next level that you say that you're going for, then here's the test. Are you willing to go through it? Or are you going to respond in your old patterns? And I just, I think I shared it here. I just did the ritual of burning my defects of character and a candle and praying to God to remove my defects. Well, there's, there, this is the test. Am I going to behave in the old patterns, which is to try to control, try to get angry or try to hide or avoid the situation? Or am I going to learn these new patterns that God's trying to instill within me? I have a choice. I have a choice in this matter. Um, and I really look at that. And I'm like, wow. And by the way, for anybody who thinks that I'm like a blaspheming Christian baby girl, I'm pagan. Okay. I'm with earth based spirituality. I've gone from one religion to the next. And I found that paganism just suits me the best of connecting with the energies of the earth and what the heck is going on of just what is. And like being able to accept the sinful world as it is, being able to accept these individuals who choose to follow along with gang stalking as they are, um, that's, that's part of paganism, is just accepting the world's nature of behavior, that these people need some sort of belonging, need some place to be, to feel important. Um, and that's what they think that they're getting. You know, I could also help you to feel important. If I was free to use, to do my um, hypnotherapy practice, um, I could help people with relieving that need. So I think about where can I put my power? Where does my power even go? And that's in listening to, validating, and understanding me, number one. Number two, listening to, validating, and understanding other black women. <laughs> so call a sister up, go visit a sister, you know, just go and be around other people of color. Um, now, the other thing, too, is accepting the situation that I'm in right now for what it is. That this man who is obsessed with me is obsessed because usually he's able to prey on weak women. 
And I think he took me for being a weak woman that he could prey upon. And um, is doing his best to try to prove me to be clingy, trying to prove me to be the one who is uh, harassing, but I'm not the one hacking people's computers. I'm not the one spreading rumors. I'm not the one gossiping. I'm not the one cheating on my wife. I'm not the one doing that. Um, so I just, I just really have to accept what is, is that this person is trying to take out his guilt for the things that he's done. He's trying to take it out on me and try to put it on me. And I don't want to wear, it doesn't fit. It doesn't, it doesn't fit me. I'm too big. I'm sorry. It doesn't fit me. Your, your guilt does not get to go on me. That's a choice that I get to have. Um, and I think it's this ability to obsess with me, to obsess about trying to control me, to try to diminish me. Um, having this ability gives him the freedom to not have to focus on what he has done in his own relationships and in his own life. That's really what the bottom line is. He doesn't have to focus on himself. He gets, to get, he gets to feel important by having a bunch of people following him and in the story that he's told and created for himself. And I have to accept that that's, that's, that's the reality that I'm in. I can't change his reality. Would have been a friend, would have been somebody who would have worked with him, would have helped him. Because I remember he called me with an anxiety attack at one point and I, you know, I did some NLP with him to try to help him calm down. That's the kind of person that I am. That's what I would have liked to have done and been in his life. But I don't think he can allow that for himself. It's kind of like um, Almond Geth in Schindler's List when um, Schindler tells him that the truest ability is to be able to pardon ourselves for the things that we have done. And Almond Geth looks in the mirror and tries to say, I pardon you, but he realizes that he cannot pardon himself for all of the things that he has done and the atrocities that he's done to humanity. And so the next thing he does is he goes out the window and shoots a kid. That's who I'm dealing with. And that's what I need to recognize of who I'm dealing with. Someone who cannot pardon themselves. Well, I have a responsibility knowing that this person's going to be following me, knowing that this person and people like him are going to be following me, that I have a responsibility to keep myself safe, to be secure, to have secure people around me, um, and to not engage with them, but to instead do the next right actions that God would have me do in this situation. I still would show up as loving and kind and patient. That's that's what I will have to be. That's, that's my path. That's where I'm going. Um, but I'm not the one to be messed with. That's the next lesson. And I think that the next lesson comes from building this community, building a community of safety. If there's a community of crazy, there's a community of safety. You know, and it's my responsibility to start first being an ally to myself and building an internal community of safety. So that's where I'm starting. And that's where I'll choose to be. And I'll ask God for the next right action other than that. Because... I know that my limited human perspective does not provide um, all of the solutions, and God's going to show me how to be. Um, I think in the big book of AA, it talks about um, being able to see people as sick people. Um, and you would not hurt a sick friend. To recognize that these are sick people that are coming after me, and... But if I'm around a sick person, I can wear a mask if I have to be in their space. I can take my vitamins. I can make sure I have my immune boosters going. Or if I need to be in a full-on, um, not a bodysuit, a <laughs> full-on um, hazmat suit around these people, okay. I will find my metaphorical hazmat suit because I know that these people are around me. They, they're choosing to be around me. It's not me choosing to be around them. They're chasing me. I just want to be me, be weird, to entertain the world, to sing, be expressive, to be open and be honest. That's that's kind of what I want to do. But that makes some people feel uncomfortable. And so it's a lot easier to come chase after me than to address why are they uncomfortable. 
What do they need? What are they feeling? What is their reality? It's a lot easier just to chase and blame a black woman than it is to be accountable to yourself. Yeah. So with that, I'll pass. Peace.